Hi, Kumar Korsho here. Now we're going to be going over the strategy to trade management. So with the long trade management, we're going to be moving the stop to break even, which is the entry price. When your profit in the trade equals the risk you put on in the trade. So when you're in profit, the same number of pips that you've risked on the trade. So we see here that A, B, C, D is the price movement. We've got a retracement that is 50% or greater, but not more than 90%. So this is a valid ABCD play. We enter immediately for a long at point D. Why are we going long? Because C to D is downwards. So we're going in the opposite direction. We're looking for a reversal at point D. So we're going long. We've got our stop loss here. And so whatever distance that is, we will mark that as X. And so when we are in profit, X amount of pips, we will move our stop from the original place up to the entry point. So it is now at the break even point. And if price now goes down, we are going to enter and exit at the exact same place. We would leave the trade at that entry price. And if we're entering at the same price and exiting at the same price, that means we're breaking even. We're not losing any money on the trade. So when price reaches this red point, which is X amount of pips, and remember X is just here to represent the number of pips between your entry and your stop. So when we're in profit by X amount of pips, we're going to move our stop from the original point, which is the red line, to the entry point, which is the green line. So after your break-even price has been hit, you trail the whole position at each pivot low form. Remember, we're talking about the long trades right now. So this means that after your break-even price has been hit, you will then start looking at each bar that forms to see if it is a pivot low bar. As soon as the pivot low bar is formed, you will move your stop under the low of that bar. You will carry on moving your stop higher as each pivot low is formed until you are stopped out of your whole position. So let's have a look at it here. We've got an ABCD here. It's an ABCD down move. The whole chart is trending up. The MAs are trending up. So we're looking for really a long trade and we see a nice ABCD down move. So for strategy two trade, that's perfect because we want to go long at point D. So we're agreeing with the chart. We're agreeing with the MAs. We enter at point D. And now what about our stop? Where would we place our stop? Well, we're looking for pivot lows to place our stop. And our stop goes below this pivot low because it gives, there is enough room to breathe there for the price. And so what we do is we mark off how many pips there are between the entry and the stop. That's our X amount of pips. The stop moves to the entry price when this price has been hit and trailing starts. So the stop moves up under each pivot low as they form after this point here. Why this point? Because price has moved up from entry X amount of pips up. We're in profit the same amount of pips that we risked originally in the trade, which is X amount of pips. So at this point, we move our stop from here up to the entry price. So our stop is now here. Now, I just want to point out quickly that this line here did not come down after the break even price was here. Otherwise, we would be out at break even. It first came down and then went up to this point here. So we're still in the trade. That's not apparent from this chart, but that is what happened in this chart. If that confused you, it's only because we can't see the lower time frames to see exactly what price did in this bar right here. But let's just assume that price went down first from this point, then went up, hit the break even price and carried on going up. So now we're at break even and price is going up. So now we wait for each bar to form. After each bar is formed, we determine whether it's a pivot low bar. If it is, we then move our stop up to each pivot low. So this bar forms, this bar forms, this bar forms, we still haven't got a pivot low. This bar forms, we still haven't got a pivot low, even though this is going to be the pivot low. It's only when this bar here forms that we know that this is a pivot low bar. So then after this bar finishes and we identify this as a pivot low, we move our stop from here, which is the entry point, up to the pivot low. 
then this bar forms, we still don't have another pivot low, then this bar finishes, and then we see that this is a pivot low, so we move from this point up to this point, and so forth, we go and move our stop, so what, what we're doing here is we're trailing our stop, we're moving our stop higher and higher, locking in more and more profit, that's called trailing our stop. So at this point here, we've got our stop here now, and this, these bars are forming, and we see that price does go lower than our stop place, we haven't got any pivot low forming, and so our stop stays here, and price comes down and stops us out at this price right here, the dotted line. So we sell there at a profit, and that's the way we manage our trade here. Now with short trade management, we're in effect just doing the opposite thing. We move our stop to break even, when your profit in the trade equals a risk you put on in the trade. So the break even point is the same thing, uh, but obviously we're looking at the opposite direction. So we're looking for the profit in our trade to be the same number of pips that we risked originally in the trade. So we've got an ABCD price movement here. We've got a retracement of more than 50%, 50% or more, but less than 90%, so it's a valid play. We're going against a C to D move, so we're going short, we're looking for a reversal there. So we enter at point D, we've got a original stop loss here, and the distance between the entry and the stop is X amount of pips. We then have profit of X amount of pips, and at that price, when price reaches that point, we then take our original stop loss and we move it down to the entry price. Now, if price comes back up, we are not going to lose anything on this trade because we're going to be entering and exiting at the entry price. So we enter at the same price and we exit at the same price. Therefore, we do not lose any money. That's a contingency if price goes up. If it doesn't, great. We're in a risk-free trade and we're just waiting to lock in some profit. So after your break-even price has been hit, you trail the whole position as each pivot high is formed. So because we're in a short position, we're looking for pivot highs now. So that means that after your break-even price has been hit, you will then start looking at each bar that forms to see if it is a pivot high bar. As soon as a pivot high bar is formed, you will move your stop above the high of that bar, meaning the pivot bar. You will then carry on moving your stop lower as each pivot high is formed until you are stopped out of your whole position. So here we've got an A, B, C, D. We've got a B to C retracement here, which is valid. It's not, it's not more than 90%, but it's more than 50%. So it's in between 50 and 90, so it's fine. We've got MAs going down. We've got price trending down, so it's great. We want to be in a short position, so this is perfect. We enter at point D. We sell there because we're going short. Remember, we open the position with a sell. We have a stop loss above the previous pivot high here. So our distance between the entry and the stop is X amount of pips. We've got a nice amount of room for price to breathe, so that's fine. Price doesn't actually breathe, it just carries on going down, so that's fine. We've got X amount of pips between the entry and the stop, so now what we're doing is we're looking for profit to be X amount of pips. So price to go down X amount of pips, and at that price, which is right here, we move our stop from our original stop to our entry price. And so we know that's what happens there. And we also know that after this point, we are going to start trailing. So we are going to start looking at each bar for a pivot high to form. As I'm going through these, we see that when this green bar completes, this is a pivot high. So we will move our stop from here down to here. Then we see as next price bars form, that after this green bar finishes, we see that this is a high bar, so we move our stop lower. Then as each next bar forms, we see after this green bar, that this red bar here is a pivot high bar, so we move our stop lower. So what you have to do is you have to wait for the next bar to form to see whether this is actually a pivot high bar. The pivot high bar itself, after forming, you can never tell whether it's a pivot high or not until the next bar forms. We then see that no pivot high forms after that, so our stop stays here, and price comes up and stops us out at this point right here, because our stop is at this line here, 
price goes up and we are stopped out, we buy back at a profit. So that's the way we lock in more profit and we trail our stop and we try and get as much profit as the market will give us. So that's the trade management for strategy two. Let's take a look at the trade overview to put everything we've gone over together. I'm going to cover this in the next video. This is Kumar Kaushal for Trade to Success University. Please go on to the next page to continue with the training.